Hey, welcome to American Redneck. This is uh, well, this is a mosquito. This is gonna be a quick video. Um, just one take thing, no editing. So I had my um, air compressor, which died on me. Anyways, I rebuilt it a couple times because that's why I got it at the dump, and I put a new piston, new belt, stuff like that. And uh, well, it, it she had a pin or she had a, a bolt that held the piston in place. Um, and I have that over on the drill press. I've been trying to drill it out for days now. It's wicked hard steel. So I broke a couple drill bits and I can't get that thing out. So I just went and bought another uh, air compressor. So this is the one here that died. That's a 24 gallon and 5.2 horsepower, 150 PSI. Uh, so this one here is a 200 PSI. Uh, with a 20 gallon and but this is only I think it's like It's 1.3 horsepower So even though they had more horsepower in it don't mind my trash over this <laughs> but uh, They had an extra fi uh, 50 psi in that thing there. It's a little bit smaller But it does a really good job and it runs everything I need So what I've done is I took the whole motor off and instead of blocking this here, I just left, this is the, the um, pressure valve. So once it hits 150 PSI, this is what shuts off the motor. So I just put that back on there because I didn't have anything to block that. So what I did is, uh, this is all still the same thing here. Um, none of this has changed. This is the outlet, which was originally the outlet. Um, and then this is where it came off the engine and went into there. So what I did is I got a, a valve here. This is just a ball valve. This was like a dollar something or two bucks at the Harbor Freight. Put that on there. And then I had to buy a female to female quarter inch coupler. Put it on there. And then I just put an end on it here. And then I just bought a small three foot hose. So this is the output on this one. And it goes into this one. And I can shut this one off and take the hose out and I can wheel this around. So if I needed to bring it out to the vehicle and pump up the tires or anything, you know, it's got wheels and everything. So that'll have, it still have, I can put up to 200 PSI in this one, even though this is 150. The 150 is only how much the engine could do, but this will hold a 200 PSI anyway and 25 gallons. So I can move this one around anywhere I want to go. But I have them in conjunction like this. So now I have uh, a 20 p a 20 gallon, 25. So I have 45 gallons now of air at 200 PSI. So I can run all my tools basically as long as I want. And let me show you. So this here, as you can see, Inflation, no problem. Finish nailing, no problem. Framing and roofing, you, you know, it's uh, intermittent. But now with uh, 45 gallons, this should be fine. Hobby painting's fine. Uh, HVLP's fine. Bolting, which would be my... Um, my thing here. Yeah. <laughs> my air, air thingy. Uh, that'll be fine anyway. Um... The thing that I was really concerned about is the cutting, drilling, and the surface prep. So those are intermittent. So, of course, I have this guy here. And my air hammer. I love that thing. If you don't have an air hammer, grab one. Uh, and then here's my grinder cutter thingy. So, yeah. That's all I have there. Um, and that's how you put two tanks together and make a bigger tank all right if you have any questions leave them in the comment down below i uh, appreciate it if you like this video um make sure to like subscribe comment all that fun stuff to help me out so now i'm gonna go back to cooking my burgers on the grill oh you guys remember this i painted it if you guys watch my videos it's all painted the tops painted it's anyway there's a blue glitter 
Uh, inside, I started to paint. I still got to put a floor in it. Still got to fix the engine. But yeah, that's it. And for all those that uh, saw my video of my Ford pickup, I no longer have it. Uh, we sold that and we got this is a 2005 Jeep Grand Cherokee. That thing is amazing. And just real quick. This tree here fell. It was as big as that one. Okay. But anyways, it was as big as that one. A huge one down back there and all that. But anyways, I digress. Thanks for watching. Again, like, subscribe. And we'll see you next time.